Hi Leo and welcome to your flirt scope for October 2017. This tarot reading is intended for those of you who are about to meet somebody, just met somebody, have a crush on somebody, or just started uh, recently becoming sexually intimate with somebody new. Okay, This is all about new energy and your potential with this person and your sexual compatibility and your emotional intimacy, intimates, yeah, I can't say it, compatibility. So I'm going to pull three cards from three different decks to look at your energy as a lover and what you bring to the table as a lover, Leo. And then I will pull three cards um, to look at the person that you are interacting with. So... From the Sexual Magic Tarot, you guys start out with this Four of Cups. This tells me you guys um, get bored very easily if things aren't continually, you know, things aren't happening in the bedroom. You get bored very easily if that's not the case. Also, with this energy, it could definitely indicate that you... Not that you won't have casual sex, but you may very well prefer the feeling of sex when you are in a committed relationship. That might definitely fulfill you greater, okay? So I'm going to pull a vintage oracle card, trust. All right, I'm going to pull your Dreams of Gaia tarot card because with trust there, it might be that might be speaking to the fact that it might be hard for you to expose yourself sexually and be vulnerable. Not that you're not a you know good lover and things like that, but to really expose yourself and what you truly truly fantasize about, what you would really like to experience in the bedroom, maybe it's hard for you to express that. Unless you're really comfortable with somebody and that might be why you prefer relationship sex over flings and hooking up so you guys have a healing in the dreams of Gaia tarot deck for your sexual energy sexual healing <laughs> so you guys offer some sexual healing to whoever you bed okay that I'm being serious about that um, there's an energy about you that I feel as though you can get others to really open up sexually and move past their inhibitions and, you know, anything that may have traumatized them or harmed them in the past. When it comes to sex or sexuality, you just have a way of making them feel safe so they can be vulnerable, which allows them to fully bloom into who they sexually are. Now, even though you offer that energy, I don't think it's as easy for you to totally open up and express who you are, okay, sexually, which is why I think um, sex can get very routine and boring for you, even though you prefer the connection of relationship sex. Being in a relationship, the sex can get very boring and routine for you. Um, maybe you have expressed your fantasies and desires in the past and they were kind of shot down so you just you don't even try anymore not even with anybody new so it I feel like they're in a way it's like there's a part of you that isn't quite fulfilled sexually whether you're having one night stands or you're you know in a relationship having sex so I'm gonna look at the energy of the person you're involved with and they are coming through as the justice card so for them getting sexually or emotionally involved with somebody they feel like they have to sacrifice to do that and it could be you know they sacrifice their independence or they have to sacrifice and become vulnerable and open and exposed and that too might be hard for them however
they have this celebration card um, coming through with their sexual energy. So that tells me that they are a lot of fun in the bedroom, okay? In fact, they might just be super playful and fun, which is kind of their disguise in their front so that they don't have to really expose their true self. But nonetheless, this person looks like they would be fun in the bed. Like you would have fun, playful, silliness, um, open to, you know, lots of different things sexually. But to show that side, I do feel like it's a sacrifice. Like it, it bonds them to you. It, it's what creates the emotional attachment for them is exposing this side of themselves. <laughs> Look at as I say that we have the self come out for their uh, last card. So yeah, exactly what I just said. Um, they are a good lover. They're very playful. They're a lot of fun. They're open to a lot, but it, it's just like you. It is really hard for them to express themselves sexually on a full scale. Okay, so. I think you and this person would have a lot of fun together. I'm just going to pull a card to get your sexual level of interest in them and their sexual level of interest in you. You want them pretty bad. <laughs> You are very attracted to them. Lots of passion you feel for them. Lots of chemistry. Oh my goodness. They're withholding from you. Why? So, the hermit is like, I'm withholding. And just based on, you know, what's going on here, I see chemistry between you two. I'm going to pull three more um, sexual magic tarot cards to get the energy of past, present, and future for you guys. But they're either playing hard to get or they're holding out. Like you guys could have made out a few times, but it's like they just won't give it up. And this could be maybe they're not sure. Like I said, it, it's like a sacrifice for them to get sexually involved with anybody because I feel as though that is exactly like they get emotionally attached and involved quickly and so they're still trying to decide you know are you worth that are you worth all that if it doesn't work out so this here is gratification in the past um i don't know you guys may be hooked up in the past and then in the present or mid-october this is called penetrating when the power of man meets the power of woman so it, there's definitely like you definitely could be having some serious sex with this person this month and then we end it with pleasure so oh my god leo for some of you um i feel like they're playing hard to get they're holding out but you guys are going to be fucking right there it's going to go down for some of you. Absolutely, 100% for sure. Some of you guys are definitely going to be doing the dirty. Even though they're holding out and um, not giving it up at this time. So I'm going to pull a Whispers of Love Oracle card for advice for you guys. I Honestly, I don't know how this is going to play out. It looks good to me. It really does, like, I think you guys, I don't know if you guys will be, like, in a committed relationship, but I see a lot of sex going on. It's like, maybe they finally say, fuck it, you know, I'm not going to hold out anymore. I don't care what I have to sacrifice. Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things that this life has to offer. So... I think you guys are very compatible with each other, okay? It's just you both really need to open up and just expose yourselves. Like 100%. Because um, it looks, God, I'm jealous. Like, man. 
I wouldn't, based on this reading, I wouldn't mind meeting a Leo this month. Shoot. But, um, we'll see. So, I'm going to pull three Romance Angel cards for you guys. Um, now, you only pick one of the three, the one that you are most drawn to. Since this is a general reading um, and everybody's outcome and situation is different, I just want to do this to make it a bit more personalized to you and your situation. It, I mean, it all looks really good to me. <laughs> and man, once you guys have sex, holy shit. So here is card one. Here is card two. And here is card three. So if you need a minute longer to decide which card you're most drawn to, go ahead and pause the video. Otherwise, for those of you who felt most drawn to card one, this is your answer, your outcome, or your advice about this person. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So this is the universe saying, listen, you need to be vulnerable. You need to put yourself out there. You need to let them know how you feel, that you're interested, all of it. You need to put yourself out there, and um, then you guys are going to have some really awesome sex, according to these cards. So if you were drawn to this card, you needed a confirmation. Do they like me back? Should I put myself out there? Yes, you bet your ass you should. And uh, you're going to be happy mid-end of month that you did. Goodness. Um, oh. So... If you were most drawn to card number two, your answer, outcome, or advice about this person is pay attention to the red flags. Okay, so for those of you who were attracted to this card, the way that they're like holding out and, you know, maybe refusing to give it up or whatever, you really need to pay attention to that and investigate in there that there might be a deeper reason why they may be involved with other people they may be stringing you along but you know if you've been feeling some red flags pay attention to them okay do not overlook them don't look the other way just because you might really be into this person now if you were most drawn to card number three your answer advice or outcome for you and this person in the month of October is flirt so unlike in option one where you should just put yourself out there and lay it all on the line or option two where you maybe you just need to get the hell out of dodge um for you guys you're kind of in the middle it's not time to really fully express ourselves, but it is time to be very flirty and playful and that might be what leads you guys into the bedroom or led you into the bedroom in the recent past. I just, for those of you who chose cards one and three, I just see you having a lot of fun with this person. You and this person are just kind of like lost in your own little world uh, mid-October towards the end of October. But for those of you who chose option two, I don't feel like that's the case for you guys. And um, you might be best served getting the hell out of Dodge. So... That's what I have for you, Leo. I hope this helped and offered you some guidance, and I hope you all have a very fun and fabulous month. Take care.